Hey guys, what's up? I'm going to try and do a quick video here of an unboxing of the actual 3rd Gen iPod. Um, as you can see, this one is the 32 gigabyte, so not the 8 gigabyte. Even though the 8 gigabyte was still the third generation, this is the actual one with the faster processor and the mic, um, headphones with the mic. So, I'm going to do an unboxing, and I realize this is a little outdated if you're watching this now, but the reason I'm doing this is also because I just got this one brand new, because I sold my other one. Um, the fourth gen that's coming out in about five, six months, I'm going to be doing a video of that the second it comes out. I don't have an Apple store right near me, so I have to order it online, but I'm going to get here as fast as I can, just so you guys can get a first look at it. So if you want to subscribe right now, I promise you I'm getting the fourth gen the second it comes out, because I have a job now and I can afford it. So, let's get into an unboxing of this. Um, so first of all, you, you just take this off. And it's got your typical uh, Apple packaging for the new iPod. Um, you know, plastic. Oh, sorry about the glare. It's just like, unless you want to watch a video like this, um, I don't know about you, but I don't. Uh, we'll have to go with the glare. Alright, so anyway, a typical uh, Apple packaging. I mean, it's a lot sleeker. I like it a lot better than the boxes. Um, plastic's alright, but you know, Apple logo on the back. Some mumbo jumbo copyright stuff on the back right there. And then uh, we'll just open this up. Let's see if I remember how. There we go. So the best thing to do also is to keep your bottom sticker on. That way you can kind of use it like a lever. Or, yeah, like a lever keep it open and then you just grab it like this. Now I actually have cases now for my old iPod so I can put this right in a case. We'll go ahead and open that off. There you go. Paper thin. I mean this is one thin iPod. I don't know if the new one's going to be even thinner or what but hopefully it'll have a camera. So there you go as you can see right there on the back. 32 gigabyte iPod. My nice new camera. Alright. Then as all their stuff says Designed by Apple in California. And then we'll go ahead and... There we go. Then we have your iPod... Sorry if it's not fitting in frame. Then we have your iPod Touch uh, Quick Start Guide. And there is Apple stickers in here, I believe. At least my other one had Apple stickers. Yep, there we go. Apple stickers. Your normal 30-pin connector. And this is just used you know, to connect it to your computer, to iTunes, and whatnot. Then your dock connector. Now everyone asks, well, what is a dock connector? This is so, say you have like iHome or any kind of universal dock that works with any iPod. This is so you can simply set this in there and it automatically fits right with your iPod. You don't have to worry about, you know, custom fitting it or anything. This does everything for you. You just set this in your dock and put this in. It does not have any power to it. does not do anything. It just goes into a universal dock. Because a lot of people are asking what this was. And that's what it is. And then the newest thing and the only real different thing in the packaging, besides not coming with a cloth, is headphones with a uh, speaker and microphone. Now normally I don't use these crappy headphones, but since it's got a microphone and a little clicky thing, I think we might have to use these. So that's that, and there's nothing else in the package as you can see. But now how about we take a look at the uh, iPod itself. Alright, there we go. I just wanted to grab a microfiber really quick this way when I put the iPod on it, it's not going to scratch on the wood. Um, scratch my screen like the wood scratch my screen not the other way around so first thing to do is you want to remove the sticker that's covering the screen because that's what's actually holding it in place in the plastic there we go god I love that brand new screen no scratches no nothing my other one was taken care of perfectly till I dropped it and got a little nick on the home button alright so you're gonna dump it out like so now a lot of people have you struggle with this it's as simple as when you pull it out you lift up the sticker first, like I just said, it holds it onto the thing, and then you turn upside down and just barely press open like that, and there you go, it falls right out. Now it might get stuck like that because of the sticker, just pull it up a little bit more, there we go. And now it is free, and then you can use that just to decorate or put it back in the box, make it look like you have another iPod. Now on the back of this, I'm going to try and touch it without getting fingerprints all over it, but there you go, there's the back nice and shiny. Then here's the screen. We'll turn it on really quick. Oh, what is that? I don't know if you can see that, but there's like sticker goop on it. Oh, that's actually really sticky. Oh, that sucks. Anyway, we're going to turn it on really quick. It's going to tell me to plug it into iTunes. But that is the basic unboxing of the third generation 32 gigabyte Apple iPod Touch. Um, I'm going to be doing a comparison of the iPod Touch second generation, or the one that I already had, because I sold it to my sister so I can still use it. But I'm going to be doing a comparison of like the speed, and I know there's already quite a few, but like I said, I'm just trying to get this channel going here. So yeah, 32GB Apple iPod, 
plug into iTunes there. Gorgeous looking screen. Paper thin. I mean, this is the best thing to have until six months when they're coming out with a new one. So, uh, thanks again. Thanks for watching. Um, check out my channel. Subscribe. And, uh, yeah, that fourth generation iPod, the second it comes out, I promise you I'm going to have it. So, subscribe, and, yep, yeah, see you in the next video.